again, my name is Dave Conley, owner of Canoe the Wild Guide Service. In this series, we're showing you some techniques to take the stress out of tandem paddling a canoe. If you haven't already, be sure to watch parts one and two, where we went over the basic strokes and maneuvers that help us when we guide folks through white water. I've been paddling the rivers of Maine and Canada for 30 years. With that experience comes the confidence to navigate white water. We recommend your first trip through the rapids be with an experienced, trained river guide and always remember to wear your life jacket. When we last left off, we demonstrated the side slip and how it could be used to position your canoe along the portions of the river that are safest to navigate. Here at Shad Falls in Old Town, Maine, we know these waters well. Through a combination of right and left turns, low and high bracing, corrective draws and prize, and most importantly, constant communication, we were able to tackle these rapids in one shot. But especially in unfamiliar waters and long rapids, it's helpful to take advantage of the shelter that large rocks provide to pause and scout the next safest move before continuing on. This technique is called an eddy turn. Eddy turns are done by placing the bow of the canoe about one third of the way into the eddy line, at which point the partner in the bow will do a cross draw and hold. The stern partner will then do a pry and hold it into the rapid. With the canoe turned 180 degrees, we'll continue with forward and back strokes to hold while we plan our next move. Another task that rapids can make challenging is simply getting from one side of the river to the other. This is best accomplished with an upstream ferry. The trick is to give those rapids as little surface area to grab onto as possible. If you think of upstream as 12 o'clock, point the bow at 1030 and use the current to tack the opposite side, being careful not to expose too much of the broadside or the rapids will grab the canoe and pull us further downriver than we want to be. As with all tandem canoeing scenarios, communication is key. Being in sync, sharing information, and working as a team are what separates the stressful trips from the enjoyable ones. For more tips and how-tos, visit oldtowncanoe.com and happy paddling.